guys <sighs> welcome back to the channel sorry about having put any videos up lately and um, you know it's just it's one of those things you know it can't be helped um, but today we're going to be taking a look at the new heroes and generals UI overlay I know cotton's covered it I know Adaway's covered it I know a whole bunch of guys have covered it but I know some of you guys want me to cover it you want me to give you guys my two cents on it and uh, teach you some small little shortcuts that you are probably gonna want to learn and so here we go uh, pretty much this is your generals section now note please note that the general has been removed from the game you can no longer purchase a general with gold unless of course you have him unlocked um, let me explain the unlock system and how it works um, pretty much Yes, as you can see, he is called Cobra Commander because he's completely useless. I bought him with gold, which means he doesn't have any of his badges that is required for him to be a better commander. But pretty much, you click on that little shield at the top. This is going to list your player level. Now, this is completely separate from your soldiers. It's completely separate from everything. This is basically your account. Now, um, like I said, it, it's going to list all your accuracies. It's going to list your vehicles. It, it's, it's literally going to list everything. But, but this is what you want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to what's on this side uh, when you first start off you're going to start off at rank one which means encounter uh, battle type unlocked bronze matchmaking group now the matchmaking group i haven't figured out what that is yet i think it's about basically the more skilled you are the more skilled your opponents are going to be which is a skill based matchmaker would be fun um but unfortunately the problem with that is there's a lot of people out there that just use gold buy the specific specific guns they want i.e the mg42 the, the m1 m2 carbine or the uh, PPSH 43 and just go ham at rank one killing all those poor scrubs who don't stand a chance because they have all accounts but anyway and basically as you keep leveling up you will get uh, um, rewards and at rank two you get a thousand uh, 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 um, ten thousand uh, uh, credits next one all factions are unlocked basically when you first start the game you have to pick a faction and that's the faction you stick with now there's none of this faction hopping which is pretty cool um, the next one you get uh, at rank four, you get the assault maps, and at rank five you get the paratrooper recruitment is unlocked. So you can no, there's no longer soldier uh, 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 growth basically. If you back in the day, if you wanted to become a soldier, you had to progress your soldier down using his ribbons. For example, as you're going to see here, as you can see, uh, for example, right here, recon is unlocked. Right here, paratrooper is unlocked. Tank crewman is unlocked fighter pilot is unlocked now those are the career opportunities for your soldier that's something different what i mean by that is for example i, I um as you can see my guy is, is damn near all the way and all i've got is maybe rank 18 i can then choose to turn him into a general i don't want to do that but unknown soldier i ground him he, he just stayed infantry why because you always want to have that one generic infantry soldier because you're always going to need meat for the grinder pretty much so that's different from what I'm showing you. What I'm showing you is the paratrooper, for example, at rank five, that's your ability to buy a new one, okay? So for example, if you scroll down to this little plus sign, you click that, ta-da, do you see? Now you're starting to understand the recruitment section. This is to buy a gold soldier. He's locked to that specific branch of the military and he cannot transfer. So, for example, if I bought him with gold or silver, this guy would be locked as a fighter pilot. Do you see? That's it. He, he, he will be stuck as a fighter pilot. But, on a brand new account, all you'll be able to do is infantry. Then paratrooper being your first unlock. Then recon being your second unlock. Then tanker. Then fighter pilot. And finally general. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? each specific uh, 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 army branch will be unlocked to you as you progress and level up so as you level up okay back to the level up section as you level up in your player level you will start to unlock things like even free veteran membership for 24 hours which i think is pretty cool thank you for that redo um then tank room and then gold matchmaking group again i have no idea what that is um then of course you've got the war battles at tier 10 I'm glad that they bumped the war battles down to rank 10. It means that you are a smart freaking soldier. You're not going to be a dumbass and just join the war 
because, oh, an extra 50% EXP to whatever weapon I use. I can power level my Gavir, you know, and completely fuck someone's, someone's, some general's poor units. So, and that's one of the things I absolutely adore about that. Thank you for that, free tip. Now, a lot of you guys are thinking, well, wait a minute, where's the veteran membership stuff? Where, 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 where's the store? You click this little <laughs> shopping cart with tracks, and there's your shop. Uh, there's what they've got usually on sale. For example, it's the Liberation of Paris, which means certain vehicles have 25% off. Yes, I have taken advantage of that. Uh, this is where you can buy your gold, your membership, your soldiers, weapons, vehicles, assault teams, war bonds. Uh, you guys know my answer on the whole war bonds thing. Don't bother with those. Uh, uh, ribbon boosters and, of course, bundles. Now, the bundle store hasn't been updated for quite a while, which is a bit of a shame um, because I feel that the bundle store... Uh, 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 needs to be updated. There's no, there's no fighter pilot bundles. There, uh, all there is is just these. I, I would like to see a fighter pilot bundle where you get the plane and specific stuff is already unlocked, like HE, or or specific badges come with those planes, and only those planes. For example, uh, flak jacket gold. Uh, basically, when you pick that plane out your lineup, that's automatically equipped to your pilot stuff like that um again you know like i said nothing's really changed you get the smg can you get the close combat uh, uh close quarters uh, combat pack or you can get the uh, sharpshooter pack uh, uh honestly for the money get the sharpshooter pack i know you're like eh? why because again you're always going to want basic meat for the grinder you're always going to want that and the best way to do that is to pick soldiers off from afar yes i finally did make take mateus uh, a recon and yes i'm still using my semi-auto i am not using a bolt action and you guys are like er but why cobra simply because uh, i don't have the funds to get the barrel and stuff yet i will when i start streaming again but right now i don't as you can see i can get the scout too it is unlocked yes that will technically potentially make my rifle a uh, one shot kill however um i i don't i don't own the scope see Scopes are unlocked, as you can see. Uh, um, you know, I do have two scopes unlocked, but apparently you can no longer take the scope on. For example, the M1 M2 carbine scope and the M1 Garand scope are identical. You can take the scope off the M1 Garand and put it on the M1 M2 carbine. You don't have to buy the same scope twice. Unfortunately, that no longer works for the rifles because you also used you also used to be able to do that for your Gewehr and take your scope off your Gewehr and put it on your car 98 as long as you have the scope the, the, the scope unlocked if that makes sense um, for example I'll show you you click on the little ribbon of course like always takes a few seconds as you can see uh, where's the first scope it's right here T post as you can see guys I have it unlocked I can could in theory buy it I just don't have the credits as you can see uh, nor do I have the gold but um, you used to be able to once you got that that mod mod unlocked you could take it off of another rifle of the same class i.e uh, uh gewehr 43 uh and actually just go done and that's it and run your t-post scope well back then it wasn't a t-post scope but you run that scope with your with your uh uh carbon eye your, your curts basically but you can't do that anymore so that kind of sucks and a recon without a scope is basically useless so what I plan on doing is grinding up some credits, getting me a scope, slapping it on the car 98, uh, getting the scout. Basically, I've, I've got the stuff unlocked. I'm just going to start grinding the credits to turn my car 98 into that what, that that stereotypical one shot kill rifle. And uh, so yeah, that's Mateus. Um, like I said, pistol, semi auto, and I've I've actually gotten into a bit of a sniper duel with a Soviet sniper uh, uh, last match. Um, during this match um, name gang with a P uh, Petro him I actually got into a bit of a snipe war with him uh, he killed me once and I ended up killing him like six times uh, but it was somewhat of a snipe war uh, most of my deaths came from the hands of the fighter pilots who just you know trying to capture zones and they just kept bombing us and when it was on factories what do you expect but um, he was using the um, as he was using the uh, bolt action sniper rifle, um, the Mos on the Gap, and I was using my semi auto, and I was beating him hand, hands down every time. 
and it wasn't because of my badges I had heavy set bronze I was just beating him um, simply because fire rate fire rate and precision that's what as you can see yes it is heavily modded but you guys know how I mod how I mod my semi autos and you know that my, my semi autos work you've seen them work uh, live stream you've seen them work in uh, videos weapons guides and stuff like that now this little top left corner you're going to see this section where you can go to their Facebook page like them you're going to get some small uh, t uh, basically when they send out a tweet it's going to come up here first which is kind of weird if you think about it because most tweets they send out is usually the server is down for maintenance or you'd be kicked so you wouldn't be able to read the tweet unless you go to Twitter so that's a bit of a eh, moment you know what I mean um, of course you've still got your, your message system stuff like that um, and of course the chat and your friends list is still all the way down there as you can see so yeah, and it now even lists um, what you've got as uh, faction friends so that's pretty cool of course chats here chat is still toxic as hell what do you expect see hi Americans nigger typical nice one rainbow nice one um, but like I said guys um, that's pretty much it you click on the cog uh, you click on the tutorial uh, that's where it's at now it's in uh, under the little cog now and you can launch your first blood and stuff like that that's how you, it used to be just an option over here basically all i've done is move the funds from from the left over to the right uh and moved your option sections that were down below up to the top left and your veteran membership as you can see is listed right there uh general section unfortunately for some reason every time i try to go to the general section the game crashes um i'm not sure if that's a bug um but i'm going to go into the forums and report that but pretty much as you can see i have bought myself some more units i now have myself a recon unit yay as well as an assault team and as well as a um uh, honor guard basically uh, these guys are now you have the ability to use motorcycles as well as a few other things so that's pretty cool So then, as you can see, um, of course, Unknown Soldier, he is one of the commanders. He commands the Honor Guard, and of course, um, the uh, Cobra Commander commands two units. Now, for, the best thing is, my recon can now buy units. The downside is, the only units my recon can buy is recon. Makes sense if you think about it, but at the same time, it's still a head scratcher. You know? Um, and of course, you know, I don't have the gold, nor do I have the uh, war funds, but. I will don't worry I will uh, I'm currently playing America in the fact in the faction war right now uh, mostly because I have units uh, I also am in the process of buying units in the German faction as you can see um, but of course I'm, I'm I literally just got to Johann Schmidt to that level and of course uh, Johann is my number one go-to guy um, and they've now made camouflage and unlock system but you still have to buy them which is mute in my honest opinion why have an unlock system for stuff and still have us pay for it i mean in theory it's the same as what i've done with the gun with your weapons for example we'll take a look at my uh, machine pistol 40. as you can see you know you, you unlock you know stuff for it and you still have to buy it so that does make sense for weapons but not for camouflage uh makes no sense uh and of course you know um Here's my tanker, there's Jans, Jans Volta. Um, yes, guys, I do know, I, I own a Hetza and what not about. This is the best part, on the Americans. That's right, baby. I actually have an M10, I have an M10 tank destroyer. I have a Wolverine, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still want to know why the Jackson isn't in the game. I'm sorry, I want my Jackson tank destroyer. The fact that this, this bugger doesn't even have a machine gun kind of sucks because you can't defend yourself from infantry. So, you know, if you see infantry coming at you, you're kind of, well, fucked. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, guys. And, you know, it's a low-level tank destroyer. And, of course, there's the Sherman Jumbo. I think that the Sherman Jumbo was... It's a little late to the party, but you know what? It It's a fun little tank, and if you know where to shoot it, you can easily destroy this thing. Uh, that's all I need to say. Uh, a real tanker knows where to shoot the bugger. Uh, anyway guys uh, so yeah that's pretty much the new new update of course you still cannot modify your squads while outside of combat you can still click to add your friends but that's it 
Um, you cannot do anything else other than that. Go to filters, and of course you can pick your your filters and whatnot. But literally, that's it, guys. You 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 cannot uh, uh, modify your uh, your squad until you've hit the combat button. And I still think that's a bit well petty, but you know it, it it's uh, not really petty, but it it's annoying to say the least. Um, let me count it real quick. So pretty much, guys. That's the rundown as it is. Um, of course, camouflages are now also unlocked on your defense ribbon. So the more you're defending the the, the, the cap, uh, stuff like that, the quicker you unlock your camouflages, as you can see. Um, some of the ribbons have been moved around. For example, um, I want to say it's the recon ribbon. There's now nothing. You unlock nothing between eight and nine. Uh, I know one of the ribbons did get, did get modified, um, which is weird. To say the least um, of course yep yeah, yep yeah, see there's the explosives ribbon some of that stuff got uh, split up now which is again weird um, but I guess weird in a good way so all you guys who had your uh, dynamite lover badges and whatnot um, I don't think you've lost the badge yeah see I had a lot of badges gold oh it's Patton's best friend that's why wrong soldier uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. See, yeah, wrong soldier. Like I said, I had a few badges that were gold. I'm still working on quick point of defense um, because I plan on doing a hip fire build. Uh, as I'm, bless you. Um, I plan on calling. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I plan on calling the build uh, a CS Go, uh, pretty much because that's all it is. Because you can't aim, aim down sights on most weapons on CS Go. Um, but like I said guys that's pretty much it in a nutshell of course I'll be getting dead eye gold here that there here is recon badge the recon badge um, went with two splits basically ranks one you get nothing rank two you get bronze three you get something four you get nothing five you get nothing six you get something seven you get something eight you get nothing nine you get nothing ten you get nothing which is just fucking ridiculous for the amount of EXP you need um, Gilly gold, then dead eye gold. Um, of course, the the faster uh, uh, concentration on crosshair is just fucking stupid. Um, and then finally, uh, camouflage gold. Uh, no, I do not plan on taking unknown soldier uh, uh, recon. I plan on just leaving him as he is. Um, believe it or not, my recon of all people, my friggin' recon um, is the one that. Uh, needs that camouflage badge but look how far behind he is because of the new split because of the new, new jumbling up yeah see they've added camouflage see first two unlocks for a recon is camouflage which makes no fucking sense they've completely jumbled everything up again eight and nine you still get nothing again guys just it's one of these what the hell are you thinking sort of thing i understand why they're doing it they're trying to do it so that the, the veteran players still have something to grind for but at the same day if you've already gone ahead and got the bloody thing why do you need to grind it out again that makes no sense um of course and then you've got still got your um, battle badges among other things yeah they split those up now so that's every uh, uh fourth badge so four, eight, and twelve. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, that that's it from what I can see. Uh, of course, you can then you know filter out just recon, just this, just that. But again, I don't see the point of having more than one recon, or more than uh, now having multiple different infantry is for various reasons. For example, uh, Patton's best friend, his job is anti-tank. That's it. His job is just to kill tanks. Um, yes, he does have an M1 Garand. Um, no, I really don't see the point of having anything else. Um, like I said, yes, I, I have down there unlocked pretty much everything. Uh, as you can see on the infantry assault, just using the M1 Garand. Once I get the M1 M2 carbide unlocked, no, I don't plan on buying it for him. Uh, if anything, I... I'll probably get him. See, I, I would like to know why SMGs, which are more compact than, than rifles, take up more spots 
in your soldiers um, point system I honestly think they should just abolish the point system um, I really do because the point system is just it, it gimps so many units that need extra points for example recon paratrooper it just gimps them it gimps them beyond belief um, when an infantryman gets 10 points um, when a recon is just an infantryman only the fact the only difference is, is he's learned to use his crosshairs properly that's about it but anyway uh, like i said Patton's best friend can now go to anything he can go paratrooper recon fighter pilot if i want to i have been thinking about knocking him out and turning him fighter pilot uh, that way I do have one of everything for the Americans um, But if I do that, I'm gonna have to get me another infantry soldier. In fact, you know, I'm gonna recruit me another US soldier right now Wow, they have upped the price Why did they up the price? Holy shit What the hell? Why the hell? What? Okay, who has been smoking crack? 46 grand for a new soldier. Fuck me, you could get a grease gun for that. Just. Wow. Okay, I take that back. There are some serious fucking flaws with this build. Oh, by the way, get rid of the fucking grey, green, and red filter. Just have it one color. You know, like, and it's anything but these fucking, oh, I'm going to change cut. Just no. Okay, just no. Anyway, guys, my take on this build, um, well, this potential uh, build, this is just a UI update. They still haven't incorporated um what they have planned like the new maps or anything so so far it's just the new tank tanks that have been added in the ui um and the new system on how you can change out your units uh i.e go take an infantryman and go oh no i want to, to, to give me to a fighter fight you know, stuff like that um which means all i'm missing for the germans now is a fighter pilot and 167 fuck you been smoking well uh, anyway like I said guys I'm just missing a fighter pilot for the Germans and a fighter pilot for the Americans and uh, yeah I'll have one of everything so yeah and Soviets of course I do have I'm the flying Cobra uh, which is my fighter pilot yes he is a uh, um, locked uh, class I've got to get bloody pistol i gotta get it for him soon i'm sick and tired of just having a shovel <laughs> but uh like i said guys my take on the build good bad yay nay um take it with a pinch of, take it with a pinch of salt literally just take it with a pinch of salt it's all you can do um you just take it with a pinch of salt and bear in mind that this is just one piece of a very big puzzle um i'm pretty sure that someone at ritu I, I, I would just like to be a fly on the wall during one of their, their meetings. I, I really would. Um, because I would really like to meet the guy that said, Let's overhaul the UI again! Really, Barry? Really? Again, Barry? Yeah! We can do with this and this and this and this. Yeah, it'll be fun! I know he's my brother-in-law. I know he's my brother-in-law. fire him i won't get sex okay barry go ahead I, I swear i swear that's what it must be like at the offices anyway guys um take this bit with a pinch of salt um i i do start i i am i am starting to get my stream schedule set up and planned for uh basically everything but sunday basically i'm not going to be streaming on sundays anymore um and i'm going to be alternating my days which means mondays wednesdays and fridays it's going to be um heroes and generals and tuesdays and thursdays it's going to be war thunder okay guys but uh, other than that um yeah saturdays is still going to be 
see that's the thing Tuesdays I want to still be my tech talk but I'm gonna move tech talk to Saturdays so Saturdays is gonna be a tech talk and Sundays is gonna be my day off that's my my current schedule I have set um, it's not set in stone yet because of course I've got to talk, talk to my co-host and uh, see if he's okay to do it for Saturdays instead of Tuesdays but until then guys keep yourselves fine keep your enemies dying your Cobra Commander is out and I'll see you on the battlefield and I'll see you streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras here real soon until then guys Watch your head, you just might lose it.